The touch-me-not is a native wildflower that provides food and shelter for many insects throughout its range in eastern North America. Touch-me-nots have a long blooming period and can be found in moist, shaded areas such as creek banks, forest, lanes, and ditches. The vividly yellow flowers are bisexual with the stamens covering the immature style. The male stamens appear for a few days followed by the female style with its stigma. The stigma grows and pushes the male apparatus completely off the flower. There are five petals, two lower petals that form the landing pad for flying insects, two lateral or side petals, and one above that forms the protective hood. One of the three sepals develops into the nectar-producing spur, the goal that many insects are intent on reaching. They are shown the way by purple spots inside the corolla. Most bees fit tightly in the flower, invariably touching the stamens or the style with their backs on the way in and out. Pollen from the stamens will be carried to the flowers of neighboring touch-me-nots, some of which will be in the female phase. Finding a flower is easy, but landing in a crosswind can be a challenge. Some flowers don't need nor do they invite insects. They remain closed. These are known as cleistogamous flowers. Despite not being pollinated by insects, they can produce seed because inside the flower, the stamens and styles are mature and the flower can self-pollinate. Whether mating with itself or other genetically distinct neighbors, a fertilized flower soon produces a seed pod. But it is not an ordinary seed pod. When the seeds of touch-me-not are mature and ready to be dispersed, the pod is in a high state of tension. Inside, a spring-loaded firing mechanism is ready to explode, hurling the seeds many feet away from the mother plant. All it takes is a slight disturbance, like this. Touch-me-not. Not all insects are pollinators. Some, like this long-nosed hoverfly, are small enough to pass beneath the stamens without making contact. Such insects are called robbers because they steal the nectar without pollinating the flower. This hoverfly also steals the pollen. Finished with its thievery, it retreats to a nearby leaf to clean up. Touch Me Not is also known as jewelweed because of its diamond encrusted appearance after a rain. Water beads up as perfect spheres on the leaf's waxy surface. <laughs> 